I've driven a lot of Fenley convertibles. They're big, they're fast, but I wanted to experience where this all started back in the 1920s when Bentley was making its name for speed and luxury by winning races like Le Mans. There's no better place to seek out a classic than at Pebble Beach with its big money collector car auction. Uh, number 118, the 1926 Bentley. That's where I found this car about to go up for sale. So now this car, despite Le Mans in the name, this is not a race car. Really, it's a six and a half, 1926 Bentley, six and a half liter. And basically, the bodywork was converted to replicate what won Le Mans. And with this replica coachwork, we're estimating it's 650 to 800,000. And a bargain at that. It is, actually. By 1926, Bentley was already known for speed. But this is a competitive business. They needed more. Although they won Le Mans with a three liter, they needed more power and, and speed. So they enlarged the engine to six and a half liter. And that's what this is. These cars will do well over 100 miles an hour. Yeah, and, that, and in those days, that was that was plenty of power and plenty of speed. So it is kind of equivalent of like a modern Bentley of that type. Absolutely, yeah. No, it was one of the most powerful and highest performance cars of its era. So there are some similarities to a modern Bentley Grand Touring car, but does it feel like a Bentley on the road? The one door scenario. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can you just press the button. All right. We weren't even going that fast. But when you're used to modern cars, this seemed blazing. How's the cornering? Cornering is not this car's strong set, but... Uh... <laughs> After all Bentley has been through since the 1920s, what impresses me most is how these cars have come full circle. They're heavy and luxurious, but fast, just like always.